Hello everyone, this is Hetty again from Nanny's Italian Kitchen, welcoming you back. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's and I wish you all a very healthy and happy New Year. What I'm going to be making for you today is Italian wedding soup. Now Italian wedding soup is chicken soup with little meatballs in it. What I have here is a half a recipe of my meatballs that you see on the video on my website. I have three stalks of celery cut into little pieces because my grandson doesn't like big pieces. And I have three carrots, medium to large size, cut up into small pieces. A whole onion, a chicken bouillon, and the chicken is in the water right now. I have usually use a, a whole chicken, but I have to deal with the ones that don't like the dark meat, so I eliminate that and put in chicken breasts only. And the bouillon cube makes up for the lack of the flavor from the whole chicken. I also put a whole onion in because my sons don't like it chopped up. They don't like the taste of the feel of the onion on their tongue. So I put a whole onion in so they could easily pick it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until that boils. And when it boils, the fat will rise to the top. And with this little skimmer, I will remove all the excess fat from the top. It comes around, it comes in like foam. That's how it comes. So wait till this starts to boil and then we'll go to our next step. Okay, so you see what I meant about the foam? That's all fat. I'm gonna take all of that off. I skim it. You know, sometimes uh, you won't have as much foam. I remember my sister telling me that she was making chicken soup and her mother-in-law was over. And there was hardly any fat that came, so she didn't skim it. When it came time to dinner, her mother-in-law wouldn't eat it. You gotta skim it the fat off of the, off of the uh, soup. My sister, I mean, she told me she was laughing, but still, her mother-in-law wouldn't eat it. Okay, wait, if you keep turning it, and you'll see little bits of fat in there, take that off. You gotta skim it the fat. You gotta skim it the fat, though. You can eat it the fat from the chicken. Her name was Regina. She lived near Belmont Avenue. You know where the Bronx Hill and uh, Dion and the Belmonts came from? Whoop, there's a whole bunch right there. So you keep doing that until you don't see any more fat. Can you walk away and let it form again and then do it, or do you gotta keep going yeah, with your door? Yeah, of course. You could do that. If you, I, I wait a little bit, I rinse this off, and then I go back. If you uh, wait a little while and you see there's not enough fat there, then everything has come to the top, or the foam will come to the top. That's pretty much, pretty much it. I don't think we're going to get too much more because there's not that much fat in the bread. Now, if this was the whole chicken, You'd get a hell of a lot more fat. Forget about or it. even the, the, the chicken parts. You don't have to use just breast. You don't have to use a whole chicken. You could use chicken legs, chicken thighs, whatever parts you like. Like I said, my sons, they like just the breast. So I'm going to let this keep going. If I see any other fat, I'll skim it off. And I'll add, when I get all the fat off, I'll add my vegetables, which is celery i don't know if you saw the celery but i had it covered with the parsley i like a little flavor with the parsley in it so i'll wait just a little bit more to see if any more fat comes to the top and then i'll add all my stuff hi i took the chicken out of the pot and let it cool off a little bit and then i just break it up and put it in here some people don't put the chicken in but i like to put the chicken and the meatballs in and then some people also add spinach. You take a pound of spinach, you chop it up, and you put it in the soup along with the meatballs. So when, when I finish breaking this up, I'm going to start rolling the meatballs. Why don't you put the spinach? 
Because my grandson doesn't like to pick it out. And your sons. And my sons. Who seem to be a pain in the ass. Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to adjust my menus to everybody's likes and dislikes. So, But hey, it's all about family. I'm making them happy, right? So I'm putting all the white meat in. If you had uh, a whole chicken, you would take it out, bone it out, and put it in. So now I'm just going to add this chicken, and then when I'm done with this, I'm going to add the little mini meatballs. Okay? Okay, so I have the chicken in here that I broke up. I took it out, and I cooled it off, and I broke it up. Now we're going to add the meatballs. Sometimes, some people like to put the meat, little meatballs on a tray and cook it in the oven. I find that's not necessary because I like the flavor that comes out of the meatballs. It have the garlic, you have the, the cheese, and I put it in here until, well, until you feel you have enough. This is a pound and a quarter of meat, so I'm gonna roll these until, you know, it fills up the pot, and if, it, if I have extra, I'll just fry them and have them on the side. And I'm also gonna make a fritada, but I don't know, Maybe you'll look. Maybe I'll do the frittata with you, too. We'll see. So in the meantime, I'm going to be rolling away. Okay, so all the meatballs, I rolled them all. They're in the sauce. Now we're in the soup, I mean. Uh, now I'm going to add the pasta. You could add whatever pasta you want, or you could cook the pasta sep separately if you don't want it too starchy. But I like the pasta cooked in the soup because it gives it a, more body. Okay, so I'm gonna put in like three quarters of a pound. I got, this is uh, didalina. You could use whatever kind you want. Some people use pastina, some people use tupatini. I think that's enough. And I'm gonna, and I added about a teaspoon of soup. I mean, soup. Hello. I added about a teaspoon of salt to the chicken uh, soup. So. That cooks until the pasta is done and then it's ready. I'll show you what it looks like in the bowl. Like I said before, if you want to add some spinach, take about a pound of spinach and break it up. You know, wash it, break it up, and then just add it. Spinach takes like two minutes to cook. Doesn't that look scrumptious? Let's take a look at that. And the pasta is in there cooking. Okay, now the next phase is just you're gonna see what it looks like in a bowl. <laughs> With a lot of grated cheese on it. And the sip, of course. I gotta have my wine. <laughs> you gotta wind me up. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna make a frita. Everything is ready, the pasta is done. This is what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful wedding soup. This is for me. <laughs> Here you go, and then you sprinkle some cheese on it, lots of cheese. Always lots of cheese. Okay, you got And that's the end result. It's delicious, you'll love it. And, where's my wine? Oh, here it is. The kitchen was kind of crazy today because I made some fritad, I made some bread, but this is Italian wedding soup. Like I said, you could put spinach in if you want, but it's fine just like that. Bon appetit. Have a great day.